My name is Melissa and I'm a librarian here and I'm going to do a program for you today. But before we actually start the program, we're going to do a song. And it is a standing up song. So everybody stand up with me. And let's see, I'm going to tell you what we have to do in this song. In this song, you're going to have to clap your hands like this. Can you show me your clap? Good. And you're going to have to start off your feet like this. Because people that live in different places like, like to eat 
different things than we like to eat. And so, right here, this is the United States. This is where we live. And I'm going to show you some foods that people eat in other places in the world. So, let's see. This is one of my favorite books. It's called It's Disgusting and We Ate It. It has a lot of food history in there, but it, has, it asks a question first. It says, what would you rather eat for lunch? A piece of pizza, a bowl of bugs, a live oyster, or a fish's head? Fish's head. Would you rather have the fish's <laughs> head? Yeah. 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 Pizza for you? Pizza. You might be surprised that a lot of people around the world wouldn't necessarily say pizza. They I might say fish or oysters or something like that. And in fact, they don't even eat pizza in some places. So let me show you what they do eat. You know what animal this is? A sheep. Yes, it's a sheep. And there is a place in Africa. Let me show you where that is. It's called Sudan. And they make a stew, which is like a soup, using the hoof of that animal. No, it's actually, it's really good and they really enjoy it. And it's nice because then that part of the animal doesn't get thrown away. Now, there's a country up here called France and they eat a lot of these. Do you know what these are called? Croissants. Croissants, yeah, for their shape. Million cups of tea. Oh wow! That is a lot of tea. I would love to live there, guys. <laughs> you what? Do you like to, to drink tea? Yeah, especially. No, you know what animal is in this heart? A cow. cow. That's right. It's a cow. It's a cow. And I put it inside a heart because there's a place in the world where people mm. would never ever eat a cow because they believe cows are really. Special, exactly. India is right over here. They will not eat cow there. But you know, we have hamburgers here in America. It's just an everyday thing. Let's see. I do not want to live there. Oh. What's this? Fish. Yeah, fish. 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 You know, a lot of people are relying on the things that are close to them to eat, right? So if I live near the water, like people in this place, this is called Peru, then I would eat a lot of fish because all of those fish would be right next to where I lived. There's a lot of water next to that land. So they eat a lot of that. Now this is something different. These little tiny things up here are fish eggs. Are fish eggs, that's right. Called, do you know what it's called? Do you remember the word? It's caviar. And in Russia, people will make these little treats of caviar on top of sour cream, on top of a pancake. And that's called, I think, a blini. Okay? Um, so what do we use to eat? Do we use a shovel? No. A pitchfork? No. A saw? No. A jigsaw? Of course. A paper clip? No. I would probably use a uh, <laughs> What? What do we use? Well, silverware. Oh. Do, do you think that people all over the world use what we use? No. They what else might they use? Some people use their hands. Some people use their hands. Some people use these. Chop, chop, chop. I know it. That's right. A lot of China, people in Asia. Japan. Mm. That's right. Use chopsticks. Let's see. Here's another animal for you. Goat? That is a goat. That's right. Um, do you eat goat? Ireland? Not well, I don't know, maybe in Ireland, but I specifically learned that people in Guyana, which is also in Africa, they do eat goat. That's an animal that's plentiful around them, it's a resource that they have, and so 
that's what they eat and they really enjoy that as a food. Um, let's see, you know, I really want to show you this book. This is about a hen. Now, do hens eat animals? No. What do hens eat? Bugs. Do they eat bugs? What else? Grain. Like corn, grain, whatever the farmer gives them, right? Well, this book is about a hungry hen. Something really interesting happens to the hungry hen. So let me show you. There once was a very hungry hen, and she was little. And the more she ate and ate and ate, the more she grew. She started to get bigger. Now, up on the hill, watching the little hen, lived a fox. And every morning, the fox stared down at the farm, and the hen would come out of her house looking bigger and bigger. And this fox was so hungry, he just couldn't stop looking at her. Oh. But every morning, as he started to sneak toward the hen, he thought, oh, if I wait just a little bit longer, that hen will get even fatter. And then I'll eat her up. That's right. I'll just wait till she gets even fatter. So he waited patiently. And as he waited, that hen, she ate and ate and ate. She ate some goldfish crackers, and she got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the fox, look at him. He's getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. He hasn't eaten anything in so long. He's just staring down at the hen. So he's getting thinner and thinner and more tired and tired. Until one day, the fox looked down at the farm. And all he could see was the hen's enormous head squeezing out through the door of her hen house. Look how big she is now. She's huge. The fox could stand it no longer. He had to go down. He started to run all the way down the hill. He ran and ran. He couldn't wait. Oh, he ran faster and faster. He used all the energy he had left straight down the hill through the farm and crashed into the window of the hen house. Oh, he looked at the hen, and the hen looked at the fox, and the fox licked his lips. Oh, mm -hmm. she was so tasty. And just as he was about to pounce on that hen, she bent down and gobbled up that fox. Oh, I knew it, knew it, knew it. <laughs> he waited a little it, too long. I knew it. Now, hens don't really eat foxes, right? Now, one thing that's interesting is we saw a lot of what the world eats, but what about us? I want to talk about what people in America eat. So, French fries. I found out some, some of the most popular foods in America. Hamburger. Yeah. So, this is actually the number one. So, here's what I found out. Here's what I found out for you. If you added up all the French fries that Americans eat in one year and divide it by every person that lives in the United States, it would work out to be 29 pounds of French fries per person per year. 29 pounds. So that's the number one food for Americans. Can anybody guess what's second? No! They said Pounds. 23 pounds. 23 pounds. 
that sometimes they just eat anything. They're called the uh -huh. garbage cans of the sea. They're mm -hmm. tiger sharks. So let's see. All right, shark. You better not bite me. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's a can of green peas. Yeah. Peas. Yeah, scientists found a can of peas inside a shark's stomach. That's right. What else did they find? Because sharks have digestive seals. Seals, yeah. That's what they. That's their food source sometimes. Sure. That's what their food source is. This makes sense. Lobster. Yeah. Anybody who's near the sea is going to be lobster. I love to eat lobster. Oh. Why would anyone eat a bag of charcoal? <laughs> but they found it in the shark's stomach. Not very discreet. They just eat anything they find in the water. It's a hat. Including the shell. They, they eat the shell and everything. They just don't And they can't digest the shell. So it just stays They found balls, basketballs. Who knows how they got there, but here's one of my favorites. Absolutely. This couldn't have been very tasty going down. License plates have been found in shark stomachs. What does that happen? Oh, this makes sense. Crab. Yeah, there's a lot of those around. I like those. Um, this doesn't make sense at all, though. They found sets of um, deer antlers <laughs> in a shark's stomach. Yeah. In the same shark, it was actually two sets. I don't get it at all. Oh! A pair of shoes. They found a pair of shoes. No one eats shoes. Except the shark. Except the shark, apparently. And of course, fish. Lots and lots and lots of fish. Of course, they're everywhere. And other smaller. Yeah, so sharks will eat other smaller sharks. Yeah, like their babies if they have. I don't know. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think it might be their eggs, but I'm not totally sure. All right, now I'm going to show you this too because in this book, which you can get here at the library, it's called "What I Eat Around the World in um, in 80 Diets." It actually shows people and pictures of what they eat in one day. So I'm going to show you a couple of people in this book. It's really interesting. All right, so this man, he's a farmer. He makes tea. Maybe some of the tea for the 160 million cups in, in London every day. And so here are the things that he eats in one day. That's all his food for one day. He has bread and tea and milk and sugar for breakfast. He has a snack of fermented grains and porridge drink for his uh, mid-morning snack. For lunch, he has rice, beans, and yogurt that he made at home. Throughout the day, he drinks tea. He's a tea farmer, so that means. And, yeah, well, he, he drinks what's close to him. So, okay, here's this man. He is a camel broker. He takes care of camels in Egypt. Let me show you Egypt over here. I can't really see it, but Egypt is right there. So that's where he lives. And look at all this food. He sure eats a lot more than that farmer, huh? Look at all this. That's all his food for one day. You see anything you recognize? Eggs. Of course, everyone likes eggs. A milkshake. Is that a milkshake? I don't know. No, wait. I thought that it was a milkshake. He has baba beans cooked with, sorry, garlic. And for lunch, he has goat meat. So that's one of the places you can find goat, goat feet. Oh, yeah. Goat meat, not goat feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now here is 
A woman in Ecuador. Ecuador is in South America. So much for 